white collar men get all the shine, but you know, white collar men, it's a longer path, takes more to get to the end. And most small business owners are blue collar plumbers, electrician, HVAC technicians, truck drivers who own a logistics firm. There's a lot of opportunities. We mentioned Gary V. He wasn't a great student. He's a multimillionaire and owns a, uh, owns a, one of the most prolific social media firms in the world. Get, get your, get your, get your head right, get your money, get you some sort of certification or skill to where you can actually start making yourself of use because fast food is not a long-term thing. Then you got to start networking with other people and start working together. When you work with a group of people, let's say there's a 25 year old man. Let's make him 30. Okay. 30 year old guy. He's staying at home. He working at a fast food joint, making 18 20, to 22,000 a year. Okay. Not, not a lot of confidence, not a lot of skill sets, but he wants to be a leader. He wants to have a happy relationship and he wants to leave a legacy. What is your advice to a man in that position? Stop digging. You already did stop digging. First thing, um, I'm big on therapy, but if you're not in a position where you don't have a lot of money right now, every company you work for has an employee assistance line. You need somebody to talk to. We're not in a church like we used to be. Find someone who's a consultant pro bono. The second thing, because it has to start with the head. We can't get the head right, we get nothing. Second, uh, you making, uh, he's working full-time at a fast food place? Good, I need you to have another part-time job. Because you're making $14 an hour at McDonald's, you can go over to on Q or Circle K or a convenience store and make another $14 an hour. $14 an hour one place is $28,000 one year. Then another $14, that's $42,000. Then you can actually be in a position to move out of your mama's house move into an all-furnished apartment, get you a little sugar shake or a bike, and get out there and start doing something. See, men, we have to work. I cannot hear that I'm broke, and then you're only working 40 hours a week. You, you that, that does not compute with me. You got to work. You got to work and get, and you're getting paid for the hours. You know, here's the thing that tend to start correct themselves. Once a man puts himself in a position where his head's a little bit on straight, and it does not have to be perfect, you can't wait till this is perfect. You got to do all these things at the same time. Start getting your head on, getting your head together, get the hours up, and then you have to get a skill set. College ain't for everybody. It doesn't. It's not everything everyone needs. Get a trade. Uh, there are plenty of things that are do. What is going to be useful? Get a trade in something that's going to be useful. We have to get back to where we value blue collar labor. You know, I'm a big proponent of blue collar. I call them blue Henrys. You know, yeah, the white collar. Right now, what does Henry mean for people who don't know? Uh, Henry is high earner, not rich yet. That came from Forbes. And see, the the white collar men get all the shine, but you know, white collar men, it's a longer path, takes more to get to the end, and most small business owners are blue collar plumbers, electrician, HVAC technicians, truck drivers who own a logistics firm. There's a lot of opportunities. We mentioned Gary V. He wasn't a great student. He's a multimillionaire and owns a uh, owns a, one of the most prolific social media firms in the world. Get get your get your get your head right, get your money, get you some sort of certification or skill to where you can actually start making yourself of use because fast food is not a long-term thing. Then you got to start networking with other people and start working together. When you work with a group of people, one of the reasons my career went the way it was is because I worked I was with a group of seven people to where we all moved each other up. I only want you in the house sleeping, <laughs> showering, and, and, and on the bathroom. And there's no reason to be at home. You got to get the work done because here's the thing. Do that for at least five years. Put your head down, work your butt off, and you will look up and the rest of your life will be brighter possibilities. You have more potential and brighter possibilities than you ever thought you could have. Or if you could, can, if you continue to do what you do, you're going to continue to get what you got, and now you'll have no one else to blame but yourself because at least now you've been given the direction. Now, from that point on, you make adjustments. But I'm a big proponent in uh, your rat pack, your group of guys you hang around with, mentoring and coaching. But those two things require resources and money. Everything else I gave you is just up to you. That's the underlying thing. But if you are doing your work, following your why, your life will be fulfilling enough to where you can, whatever you attract, you'll attract like-minded people. Um, and 
you'd be surprised that women are even drawn to that. But it doesn't have to. Women should not be the reason. They should be the add-on. They're the help me. They're there to be, I, I hate to use this term, but I will. They're, they're an add-on for you. And see, when you grow up without a father or, or that kind of thing, you know, we're trying to please mom so much. So guys get lost in that. So they take their eye off their purpose and they start trying to do this. And that's too much pressure to be over there. See, more men need to be around other men. If we have to build an organization, we are going to we are going to rank ourselves. Someone has to be the CEO, CFO, CIO, the regional manager, this, that, and the workers. Men have we have learned how to work together by ranking ourselves, and there's no problem in ranking. Um, you can have a even like on YouTube, go, it goes in cycles. You may be hot. But how can you be helpful or useful to somebody else? And men have to realize that you gain more uh, gratification out of life by working with others, working with other men. And that's really what attracts women. Because uh, the average uh, everyday guy who's working with another guy, he's making bagels, he's making, oh, you making peanut butter, you making jelly, you making bread, y'all making sandwiches. Guess what? Y'all so busy making sandwiches. Next what? Next thing the women of the village are like, 